Hello my fellow miner. Merry Christmas. Merry Happy Holidays. Merry Normal Working Day depending on which description fits you. And this is actually Mary. And I also have a greetings from her very nice and attractive husband, Pete. I know they are odd looking couple but uh, Mary got lucky. Today we'll have a look at T-Rex Miner version 0.24.8 running in low power mode. If you're not interested in low power mode and you'd rather watch the performance mode, check my channel. I have a video already there. To get the correct nice hash URL, simply go to Google and Google nice hash stratum generator, select dagger and then generate the URL and click copy. That is all that is required. Quite easy and straightforward. To activate low power mode in Hive OS, simply add LHR low power 1. For Windows and Night has in Windows, I'll show it on the overclock settings screen. If you have already watched my card introduction, then feel free to skip ahead. Quickly moving on like a ninja, uh, we're going to have a look at the RTX 3060 LHR version 2. From Sotag Gaming, it has been working perfectly and very good quality to be honest. The RTX 3060 Ti from Asus, their top series. No, that is actually the wrong picture. There. Now we have the right one. The graphic card comes with two balls of steel in each fan. Military grade. Yes, yes. A piano was dropped on my head as a kid, so I am legally excused. Then we have the RTX 3070. I chill 4x from Eno 3D. It's actually surprisingly good. The quality is top notch. I have not changed anything. It's super cool actually. And then of course it comes with lots of RGBs that you cannot turn off via the software because the software part sucks. But it doesn't matter because more RGBs, more mega hash. Up next we have the RTX 3070 Ti from Sotag Gaming, also known as the DIY 3070 Ti because it drops thermal padding and comes with screws that have fallen out. I actually expected the quality to be uh, on pair with their RTX 3060. Oh boy was I wrong, what a pile of poop. And then we have the RTX 3080 LHR from Gigabyte Vision Overclock Revision 2. It's actually quite good looking, but I wish you could get it in black brushed metal instead. Even though it doesn't really matter because it's part of my mining rig and I never see it. And now it's time for the last card, the RTX 3080 Ti from Eno 3D iChill X4. Yes, I'm very well aware that it looks exactly like the RTX 3070 edition. Um, it is. Actually, the pictures are also exactly the same, so I had to take the one with the box. I said their graphic card is good quality, not their software and definitely not their homepage. That is a very good example of what happens when you take a back-end software developer and put him or her to make a homepage. If you haven't subscribed, Uncle Donkey would very much like you to hit subscribe and afterwards that bell notification. Yes, the bell so you can get spammed even while you sit on the toilet. I mean, who doesn't want to get a random notification at random times around the clock? It is very nice. So remember to hit the bell notification and you will get unwanted messages all the time. It's time to have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 LHR version 2. The recommended starting value for LHR is 68. I locked the core clock to 1552 and memory to 2600 which is 1300 in Windows and Hive OS unmanaged. Windows and Hive OS users can create a batch file based upon what is displayed here. Now let's have a look at your clock settings for the RTX 3060 Ti with Hynix memory first generation mining Ethereum. I set the core clock to 1350 and the memory to 2100 in HiveOS, which is 1050 in Windows and Nice has unmanaged. Windows and HiveOS users can create a batch file based upon what is displayed here. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 LHR mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock to 11.25 and set the memory clock to 2600 in HiveOS, which is 1300 in Windows. 
Windows and Hive OS users can create a batch file based upon what is displayed here. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 Ti mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock to 1050 and set the memory clock to 2400 in Hive OS, which is 1200 in Windows. Windows and Hive OS users can create a batch file based upon what is displayed here. Let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 LHR mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock to 1500 and set the memory clock to 3400 in Hive OS, which is 1700 in Windows. Windows and Hive OS users can create a batch file based upon what is displayed here. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 Ti with the BIOS update mining Ethereum. And if you don't know which BIOS update I'm talking about, check my channel for the video. I locked the core clock to 1200 and set the memory clock to 2600 in Hive OS, which is 1300 in Windows. Windows and Hive OS users can create a batch file based upon what is displayed here. Now it's time to have a look at the average results for all the cards. First up is the RTX 3060 LHR version 2. 33.2 MHz per second at 84 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.395. Compared to NB Miner, we see that it's less efficient and gives a lower hash rate. However, this is not the true hash rate. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out my channel to see true hash rate. Now let's have a look at the average result from the RTX 3060 Ti. 40.3 MHz per second at 101 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.399. Again, we see that NB Miner is more efficient and gives a better hash rate. Now let's have a look at the RTX 3070 LHR's average result. 39.6 MHz per second at 88 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.450. Again, we see in B minor with a better hash rate at a little bit higher wattage, uh, but more efficient still. Now let's have a look at the RTX 3070 Ti's average result. 52.9 MHz per second at 152 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.348. If you haven't subscribed yet, now is a very good time to do it. It would be a very nice Christmas gift for me. Again, we see that NB Miner would be a better choice if we only look at the reported results, as it has a better hash rate at the same power consumption. Now, let's have a look at the RTX 3080 LHR's average result. 69.2 MHz per second at 199 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.348. The trend continues. Again, NB Miner is more efficient and has a higher hash rate. Now let's have a look at the last card, the RTX 3080 Ti's average result. 81.1 MHz per second at 260 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.375. And that is the last of the cards and the tests. And we can see again NB Miner is more efficient with a higher hash rate. That was kind of an anticlimactic uh, ending of the video. Uh, it's actually a quite boring test, to be honest. I had hoped for something different, maybe a mix, so it would be exciting. But uh, it's not. It's actually quite boring. I'm very sorry about that. If you have some nice subjects you would like me to cover, then please write them in the comments. If you like the video, then please click like. If you don't like the video, click like anyway. See you in the next one. No, of course not. If you don't like it, you don't need to click like. But maybe clicking like will make you feel better. Maybe that is actually all that is needed for you to have the perfect life. How would you know if you don't try? See you in the next one for reels. No, no, not reels, not uh, Instagram thingy. No, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Here on YouTube, that is. Bye. Oh, and a merry, happy holiday, Christmas, working day. See ya. Even.